Welcome to day five of the 10 day Fruit of the Spirit challenge. You are halfway there. To start, go ahead and get into a comfortable seated position, pulling up through your spine and core muscles. Consciously doing this each time you sit down to do a meditation until it becomes an automatic habit. Close your eyes as you feel the connection between your body and the surface on which you're resting. Now we will take a few deep breaths in through your nose, filling your stomach and lungs, pausing at the top before exhaling through your mouth. Again, in through your nose, hold at the top, and then exhale through your mouth. Use your breathing as a tool to help you tune in and become more aware of both the state of your body and your current mindset. Continue focusing on your breath until you find a pattern of breathing that is comfortable and relaxing for you. If you would like, set an intention for this meditation related to gentleness. Something like, I will have a gentle heart. All of us have experienced gentleness, be it from a parent, a teacher, or a good friend. Gentleness is the quality of being kind, tender, or mild-mannered. Think about a person or situation that you associate with gentleness and bring it to mind. If nothing is forthcoming, instead focus on the feeling of the room around you, of the air or sunlight gently brushing your skin. Feel the softness of these actions and the warm feelings kindness with gentleness prompts within us. Gentleness is the fifth fruit of the spirit listed, but it often gets overlooked. Gentleness is not showing weakness. Instead, it is a means of showing care and respect for others in the way that we act and speak. Cultivating gentleness is cultivating a strength. Gentleness has the ability to transform things and people. Gentleness doesn't mean putting up with everything or being a pushover. For gentleness to be a true strength we must show it respect and cultivate it with Jesus as our example. Gentleness is a choice and often the harder but more noble choice than the alternative. You can choose to be gentle without compromising yourself to others. Ask 
God to fill you with gentleness and turn it into an amazing strength because a gentle heart comes from having love towards others. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15, 1. Follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. 1 Timothy 6.11 Gracious words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16.24 God is a gentle God and wants us to follow in His example like how Jesus treated the little children and fed the 5,000. Gentleness means to put your best foot forward and to treat others with kindness. Gentleness means to have humility and grace. Gentleness requires that we tap into our patience and Christ-like love. Like patience, gentleness also takes practice to strengthen through patience and discipline. Gentleness is calming and peaceful. When we are empowered with gentleness, everything seems that much more harmonious. Continue breathing into your heart. Feel the gentleness of these deep breaths and imagine inhaling gentleness and exhaling any unkindness. Give yourself permission to express gentleness through kindness and to be open to receiving the same type of kindness. Gentleness is a brave choice. Have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow for day six.